Just trying to get our bearing straight. My husband and I, we are now headed to Bridgetown. I am going to see my mother and my sister, and then we will be meeting up with a friend of ours to try out this restaurant called Yellow Meat. We did have we did have our chaffet. Honestly, I still cannot get over the fact that a snack box is now. $18 like Barbados like what is going on $18 for a snack box that is wild that is so crazy but I am just going to be taking you guys along with me on this Barbados vlog so if you are interested then keep on watching okay, so we apparently <laughs> bus for is $3.50 and in order for us to go into town and come back it is $14 so we decided that we are going to drive in town and find parking I think is city, city center parking I think that's the parking that we're looking for right now but Barbados is hot as expected a lot of things have changed like even coming into the airport like the upgrades that Auntie Mia is doing, I can appreciate. Like the process of coming in through immigration, all yeah, that stuff. Slow down, eh? People be wild. <laughs> and then be paying. The uh, like the the whole immigration process was really smooth. Was really easy. We had no hiccups. I probably don't try to buy anymore. Like we literally just kind of walk right through which was really good um, and then for the rest of the day as I said we just chill saw some family so that's it so far I will check back yeah. in with you guys probably when we get to the yellow meat at the restaurant place so I will see you then regular bowl which came up to $26.50 and Shaka ordered the Bojow mini bowl with garlic sunflower, rose corn salsa and avocado food. and this all came up to $82.60 we also had drinks which is a uh, water, a guava, pineapple fruit mat and a pineapple coconut curry <laughs> So 
we can get into this. This looks so good. I don't know if I can eat all of this, but I really yes, I guess it's a choice. What do you think so far? I even know how like how how to eat it. Like Just how? I can't get into it. <laughs> Mmm. This is good. That will come out here. That will come out here for sure. 100%. Mm -hmm. I mean, because this is my first time we're eating bright fruit, but you think like the bright fruit bowl with the different meats and stuff. You already get a different. Like this is a an elevated version to eat your breakfast, which I think is really good. How one to one? Ten points. Ten to ten. There's a Belgian dish. So we are back. Today is day three of being in Barbados. Yesterday I did not vlog. I spent time with some family and friends and I didn't necessarily want to vlog. I just wanted to be present at any moment with them. I did go to, what's that cafe? Sage Cafe. I can insert some pictures and little video clips that I took so you guys can get a little taste. It was very chill. The service was really excellent. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, today is Easter and we are on the road again. We just came from visiting Torian's dad. So we are down Worthing side and I wanted to check out this um, restaurant called the Seafood Shack. So that's where we're trying to head to now. I just call my sister for <laughs> directions, uh, but we like we can't find. Oh, I think it's this guy. She's a true here. So maybe you part over there. Do you part over there? We trying out for the first time. Apparently, they sell um, seafood, like shrimp, lobster, and stuff like that. And it is Easter, and typically in Barbados, we only eat fish um, on Good Friday. So. Yeah, we can check it out and check back in with one on once we are done get the food. So, yeah. So, we got our food from Seafood Shack. This is what it is. I got the flying fish and the chips platter and they had a special for $30 for fish and chips but they did not have any seating so we are in this place called Worthing Square we just found seating here and we eat some food but the service at seafood, the service at seafood shop was really quick and they were really nice And I enjoyed it. I got flying fish and Torian got kingfish. So far so good. No complaints. No complaints. Mmm. This sauce is really good. The sauce is hitting.
we are back. We are back in Barbados. We finished up our Royal Caribbean cruise and it was nothing short of amazing. We visited six countries and had a blast. I am looking like a bronze queen. Definitely got some tan, like especially like you can see, you can see around my nose at how how tan my nose is compared to the rest of my face. I did not wear sunscreen, so I'm just gonna take on that responsibility for myself. But I we have about two days left in Barbados, so I am now heading to town see my family and to do some shopping like I want to get some Fijian snacks and stuff to carry back so that is on the agenda for today um, I'm also really tired like the cruise was really good but we also were waking up pretty early every single morning like for breakfast and to go off the boat to explore the islands so I am a bit tired but I am looking forward to just relaxing over these nets few days um but i just wanted to check in with you guys because i know it's been a while if you are interested to see how the cruise went i do have some cruise vlogs coming up just be patient with me because i <laughs> in terms of the editing and stuff me and my husband we will try to devise a plan to make sure we get the content out as soon as possible but yeah, in the meantime, the only thing left that I really want to do other than get some snacks and stuff is to visit the beach. Haven't been to the beach as yet, so that's the only outstanding thing. But as I said, you have two more days left, so we will see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 